All right, um, so I'm Aaron Clues. This is our new series, DWG Views. Uh, like I said, I'm Aaron. To my left is Soraya. To my right, Isaiah. And just off camera, Austin. <laughs> Lurking in the corner like the Predator himself. Yes. <laughs> uh, so we just saw a brand new film, The Predator. I think to start off, we should, no spoilers, just go around. Each say, without spoilers, what you thought of it. Give it a number if you want to. Um, and maybe... Uh, also, just say if you have any history with the Predator series in general. If you've seen some of them, that kind of stuff. Um, you want to start, Isaiah? Yeah, I've never seen any Predator movies. Take the camera, not me. Never seen any <laughs> Predator movies. <laughs> and I didn't like it. Okay, if you had to give it a number, what would you? Like a, like a four, I guess. Okay. Out of five? Out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Austin, you want to go next? Uh, I've seen quite a few Aliens vs. Predator <laughs> Aliens Not too many Predator specific But uh, it was, I guess it was worse Than I thought it would be But it was, it was just this, uh, I, wa I was watching it And I kept having a reoccurring thought So this is what movies are now <laughs> <laughs> like, It's gonna make you a nihilist for Hollywood <laughs> Seeing the fucking Predator <laughs> Okay. So I think that pretty much captures my overall views. Like, okay, it's just mainstream movies, and uh, it's like Transformers, but with a predator. Okay. If you had to give it a number. No, I don't want to do that. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> uh, well, I really enjoyed it. I've seen AVP. I love then... that that's the common thread. That's, I've actually seen that one. I just don't think it really counts. <laughs> Everyone's seen don't think fucking it AVP. It totally counts. It totally counts. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with the fucking Predator. <laughs> yeah, it does. He just kills the alien. And he does the little tss thing on his armor. But oh, he, does, yeah. he does that to the also, the black chick in it, too. He gives her the, the fucking head. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a shield and then a spear. I, I just spear. feel like that doesn't count. It counts. All right, anyway, anyways. <laughs> um, so you liked it. Other than that, I'd give it a good six or seven. Six or seven. All right. Um, well, I think I've seen every single Predator movie. Oh, my God. Um, and there's a lot of them. Um, Freak. I kind of hated it. <laughs> <laughs> For the most part. Um, like, I thought, I thought there was a good bit of the jokes that hit, landed pretty well. It's when they got a bit witty with them. But there was a lot of times where the jokes also didn't land at all. Um, I'd probably give it a three or a two, I think. Yeah. Uh, I'm really disappointed in myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So that's that's where I would sit. So I guess now we can do spoilers. Um, spoilers. It fucking sucks. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess if, if there's anything in particular you guys wanted to talk about. I think that movie... Hold on. I want to look up the definition for a blockbuster movie. Okay, here, I can so do that someone, real quick. Oh, okay. I've never heard, like, Fine, you've never heard of that. You've never heard of the... So, blockbuster, a thing of great power or size, in particular a movie, book, or other product that is a great commercial success. Is this going to be a commercial success? I pray to God not. <laughs> Um, we wouldn't know. We don't watch TV. They gotta set so up the cinematic have, like, universe. Well, commercial success just means like making a lot of money. Oh, not like actual no. commercials. All right, fine. Fuck it. Um, blockbuster. Yeah, I mean, I think typically the big thing to for reference for like blockbusters is Jaws, right? Like that was the original blockbuster, mm. where that's where the term came from because they were lining around the block just to go fucking see Jaws. All right, never mind. It's definitely um, not a blockbuster. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So. Isaiah, I think you and I both are huge Nice Guys fans. Yeah. Which was also directed and written by the same guy who did this movie. Um, Ugh. What a disappointment, right? Yeah. <laughs> I went in really excited about it. Yeah. And, and like, because Nice Guys is so unique in a way of how it kind of plays with that buddy cop genre. Mm -hmm. Oh, good idea. Um, but I felt like this one really just fell into the tropes of movies like this rather than sort of making fun of them or kind of twisting them like nice guys sort of did mm -hmm. um, but what so what did you guys think of 
um, like the comedy to begin with, I guess. I kind of brought that up earlier and how some of it hit and some of it didn't. Mm-hmm. Uh, of but did any of it sort of like stick you one way or in particular or not? Or I think I laughed at a good a good amount of them. A good amount of it? Yeah, like 95% of them. What about you? <laughs> I, I think I'm on the opposite. Like maybe 5% of them hit. <laughs> and it, I don't know. I feel like my humor ranges differently from your guys' though. Yeah. Your guys' is a lot more dry. I like the slapstick kind of shit. Okay. What, what did you think about the humor, Austin? Uh, I don't know. You guys are kind of nailing it. I, just, <laughs> I have more something to say about like the um, dialogue than specifically the comedy. Okay. So like, like, the dialogue, like right up off the get-go... When he's in the sniper spot and he's Overwatch and they're having yeah. that, and he's like, "Oh, so are we betting that that two drug cartels aren't gonna bring two live hostages?" Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm in. I'm like, "All right, it's gonna be this type of movie." Yeah. That expositional dialogue just slapping you right in the face. <laughs> like, he would. That's just. Oh, I was. I was already like, "Okay, it's gonna be shit." Yeah. And then the spaceship crashes and he goes to it and the scene from the back when he's walking down and then from the ship are completely different. Like yep. it looks completely different and there's just a <laughs> shit ton of extra fire. And then I was like, Cinema Sins, oh there's a shit ton of fire, gotta make it dramatic. And then I was I was pretty much done. I was okay, I'm gonna have minimal expectations from here on out. Yeah. Hopefully there'll be some cool fight scenes. Yeah, I I think especially when you look at the structure of the writing, it really doesn't make sense. Like, just how the scenes sort of flow together. Mm -hmm. Like, especially when they got his kid back, and then they go to a fucking farm out of nowhere. Yeah. Like, where was that farm? Why why did they go there? And, like, Mm -hmm. what's what's the game plan at that point? Yeah. Like, okay, you got your kid, now you're at a farm, where do you go from there? It was really just kind of like going to random locations. Yeah. Without really giving any reason why. Yeah. I don't know, did that not bother you? <laughs> the farm or did scene it not really me. Seem... Okay. But another scene that kind of was weird was when she was in the, in the hotel room and they're doing all that shit to make her feel comfortable. Oh, yeah, when they're, like, like, putting all the stuff next to her. teacup, and, like, it's like, why? Why even bother? I thought that was pretty funny, though. Really? (laughs) I I actually kind of liked that joke. I actually liked it, too. Of all of them, like, kind of placing stuff and being all nervous about it. I mean, it it was funny. It just, I don't think it was really needed. Yeah. Well, I thought it was because it developed the characters. It shows how much they care about her because they want her to feel comfortable. But they're so... Uh, like socially awkward that they don't know how to do it so they're trying to do it in the best way they can yeah and it's making a unicorn out of tinfoil and yeah. all this weird shit that's just weird but to them it's like oh please just like us yeah like yeah they want I, to be socially accepted by yeah. a hot chick yeah well and i think that there's like that scene in particular like like what you were saying like that's good like that's good character development and that's good writing but then immediately after like when she has the shock and they bring up the fucking bet thing again, or Keegan Michael Michael Key's like, oh, I told I bet ten bucks she'd go for the shotgun, mm-hmm. and like it was just like the whenever there was something good, it was almost five minutes later there was something awful that just felt really weird and like ham fisted in that just didn't make sense and didn't work. And I I especially hated um, the scene when he was first on the bus meeting all of them. Yeah, and they were doing like the generic. This is this guy. Here's his one liner to establish his character. Dude, yes, it was just so lazy. As soon as he like got on the bus and they started talking, I was like, "This fucking feels like Suicide Squad." Yeah, (laughs) like this feels Suicide Squad levels of bad. I didn't see Suicide Squad, and I thought that. Yeah, (laughs) and that says something. (laughs) Here's our quirky cast of (laughs) anti-heroes. And especially um, during that scene, especially like once they showed Keegan Michael Key, I was like, "Oh fuck!" They dragged him into this. I was like, "He's not going to be funny at all." <laughs> and I, th- I thought he was pretty funny, but not, not what? as funny as he can be. I don't think. What about that scene with him and his friend when they're dying? Oh my god, I didn't like that. I that didn't was like that so either. fucking stupid. Like I thought they were pretty annoying characters, so I don't give a fuck if they die or not. But then just just take all the tension out and I'd like, "Oh, we're just going to add a little joke in while they're fucking impaled." Fuck off. 
And it, I feel like it, sticking especially with the writing and the comedy, the I feel like this movie has a big problem that sometimes um, like Marvel movies have, or movies that are trying to be like Marvel movies, where they want to have tension, but they still want to have comedy and not uh, have too much tension. Yeah. So they always have the comedy ruin the fucking tension. And then when you have moments like that, where the movie was really trying to have like this meaningful moment where two friends have to shoot them, shoot each other, and it just seems so lame and like unimpactful mm-hmm. because there's no tension at all. Because who cares? Yeah. Like none of it mattered, and none of the characters mattered whatsoever. Yeah, I never doubted that if they would kill Predator. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. I was just waiting to see how they would do it. Maybe. Yeah. Can we can we talk about Super Predator? <laughs> like, I don't I don't understand the obsession with movies like this and the new alien movies with taking the ultimate killing machine and making it more ultimater. Ultimater? Yeah. I mean that's, that's pretty much doing. what they're doing. Or like the new Jurassic Worlds. They're like, hey, remember when that T Rex was scary? Now we have one that turns invisible. <laughs> like, it's like who needs that? And who cares? Like like Predator by himself is scary and like can pull off a gory movie like this like that was the best action scenes to me at least were the ones where it was just normal predator I agree and then when they went super predator it was just fucking stupid Mm -hmm. and it's like okay so now you just have a predator but you took away all of his high tech gear you have just a big brute yeah you have it like you have like his face that's always out which has always looked fucking stupid yeah. And I still looks say. stupid in this one. Did you notice the center's mouth was like a butthole? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> especially especially when the super predator had like the uh, normal predator on a car and he was like yeah. looking up and you could just like see his little butthole mouth flexing. Yeah. And he punched him and juice squirted it out of his butthole yeah. mouth. It was so gross looking. Well, not to mention like he also looked really shit. Yeah, the CG was just it awful. Was fucking horrible. That scene where they like panned up to him in the trees. Yeah. That looked like a fucking video game. <laughs> or that was like a PS2 fucking video game. When he was eating him? Yeah. I thought that, that looked like it. Yeah. Because he had the same like oh, yeah. claw thing. Yeah. Like... Or it also, um, I thought the one shot that was particularly bad was at the beginning when the ship first crashes and the blood from the corpse above him is dropping down and then his eyes open. And it looks so weird because, like, he was supposed to be invisible, but being shown from the blood on him. And then he had, like, those yellow eyes. Yeah. And it just looked like someone just photoshopped yellow eyes on the, yeah. like, the scene. And then they opened. Oh, well, I actually thought that was cool. <laughs> I liked it in concept. I just didn't think yeah, they executed it well. I was like, that's a cool concept. You can only see his eyes because he's covered in the blood of your friend. <laughs> that's fucked up. I would have maybe liked it better if... Like, he was still standing with, like, his back to him and the blood was falling. And then maybe, like, he turned or something. I don't know. There's something too about him laying on the ground. Yeah, and then doing just, the stair to go, Yeah, that go. just kind of cheapened it all for me. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they, one of the other things I really hated was um, the normal Predator being a good guy. Like, that also kind of seems... I mean, he was an AVP, too. Yeah. Where they keep seeming to want to... it does connect to take... <laughs> They seem to keep wanting to take a Predator and almost pull, like, the Godzilla thing. Where they're like, oh, now the hero's a good guy. Yeah. And he's going to help us for a completely unexplained reason. Like, why would this Predator care if Super Predator is going to come and kill all humanity? Because he's a nice Predator. But why? Because he's, he's a sportsman, Aaron. <laughs> he's not a predator, he's a sportsman. <laughs> he values his prey. Because he was the one with human DNA also. Yeah, I guess. Maybe maybe it's got like more empathy, more emotion towards Because it has empathy from humanity. Yeah, like in its DNA or something. That's fucking stupid. Or what I like. <laughs> so what, they, predator movie. what they insinuated at the beginning when she's like, you want to find out if someone fucked an alien? <laughs> Alright? So that means, let's just say his mom is human. Dude. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. So that means his mom is human, so he gets empathy from his human side. Now he always has a connection with humanity on top of that. Well, he doesn't anymore because well, he's dead. Now my issue is, <laughs> it's like if he has human DNA in him, wouldn't he have more like human features? He was smaller. That's like normal predator size. <laughs> <laughs> um, Did you guys notice his feet and fingers? How clumsy they looked. Yeah. 
was like, how can you pick up anything? You look like a secretary with the fucking four-inch nails. <laughs> That's just what I was going to say. It's like that oh, family guy. <laughs> <laughs> Especially, like, right when they did the close-up on the ship. Yeah. And he picked up, like, the chip thing, and he had to use, like, his middle knuckles. Yeah. <laughs> right, you could, like, see the actor's fingertips in yes. the suit. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's so uncomfortable Or his looking. feet when he was walking. Yeah. You could see the, the outside of the suit as it's just moving <laughs> and shaking as he's walking. <laughs> like a dude walking with scuba flip-flops. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I... And then the other parts where they didn't have the suit, it was all CGI. And yeah, it and it looked obvious. It looked awful, especially the blood. Like all the blood splashes, just did not look like they were even connecting with anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, did you notice a couple times the gun sounds didn't match? Yep. Yeah. They, yeah. They would switch the gun sounds, and then they they didn't match with the flashes. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> another, and sticking with the guns too. It really bothered me how. Whenever they cut away to what was getting shot at, there was no effects of gunfire. Like, it was like they didn't shoot it knowing that there was going to be a gun shooting at the time. Mm -hmm. Like, if Predator's on a tree, you know, and you hear gunfire, there's, like, no bullets hitting trees. Yeah. Oh. There's, no, there's nothing to tell this is actually what they're shooting at. They yeah. just have a noise effect in a shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, which just screams laziness to me, yeah. <laughs> honestly. Um, and I guess we had talked... What were you going to say? More stuff on the guns. First of all, <laughs> those gun noises did not match those weapon systems. Okay. It was like... You are the gun expert here, so I'll, I'll default to I'm you. I'm hardly a gun expert. But <laughs> I would, they were shooting M4s, and it... They're shooting... Like, it's an automatic machine gun. Yeah. It's not. And it's actually pretty quiet. And then the guy had a suppressor on it, and it didn't sound any different. <laughs> <laughs> like, and then the other gun... That is also just an assault rifle. They made it sound like it was this big, heavy machine gun. <laughs> and it's like shooting way faster than the sound. And it's, it was just all horrible. And then also they didn't keep track of how, if, if the predator is affected by bullets. Yeah. Sometimes he's standing there unaffected. And then the next time he's on the ground, he shoots him three times and his face is gone. Yeah. Yeah. And it was just a pistol. <laughs> Nine mil, maybe forty five, But those... If those rifles had that heavy of a round that means that's a 762 round that puts a hold like that size in you yeah when that comes out the back end that's gonna fuck them up a lot more than that little pistol <laughs> <laughs> well i especially sticking with the guns that when at the scene when they went to um was that like a baseball yeah. baseball diamond yeah um and all of a yeah. sudden, they just had like a grenade launcher and shit yeah and just like a bunch of assault rifles like where did you get all this shit and then the dogs are just standing there taking it yeah they're just letting them, they're just, oh, engage the enemy! And the dog just, rah, rah. <laughs> just, I would have loved it if it had, like, subtitles, like, why do you hurt me? <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> I just want fetch. <laughs> okay, okay, why the fuck are alien dogs just dogs? Yeah. Just, hey, they have dreads, though. <laughs> What's with the dreadlocks? And you know what? These ones looked especially like the, um... The alien dogs from like Resident Evil, mm -hmm. or like or or uh, the Great Wall. They look like the creatures from the Great oh, Wall, but with dreadlocks. I forgot we fucking watched that. <laughs> Fuck that movie. Um. So yeah, I, I guess we had talked about this a little bit on uh, on the way back here, but um, I feel like we should at least comment on how this movie treats mentally disabled people. That was one of my worst issues with it, honestly. And, like. Okay, so like one the main one of the main characters is the kid that has Asperger's, or is at least on the spectrum. I don't think Asperger's is technically a thing anymore. Yeah, yeah, um, but with the movie, he seemed a little bit more yeah. autistic. Yeah. yeah, so he was somewhere on the spectrum. Which having a child play your main character is a bad enough idea because children can't act. Mm -hmm. But then also having a child try to play a mentally handicapped character. Is such an awful fucking idea that I can't believe it ever got through. Yeah. Like, I just... Everything about his performance in particular, I was, like, almost insulted by. <laughs> when it wasn't consistent. Because, like, yeah. in the beginning... It sounds weird to say, but he seemed, like, really autistic. <laughs> like, I agree. Yeah. Like, and, you know, he was all fucked up with loud sounds. 
and then 20 minutes later, there's fucking war going on, yeah. and all this gunfire, and he's like, oh, whoa, this is cool. Like, he just doesn't <laughs> fucking care. Look at that, you just killed that guy. Yeah. I'm going to swear, because cool? it's funny. Yeah. I'm only eight, and I said fuck. And especially that um, when it tried to have that sort of, like, beautiful mind moment where he reset up all the chess boards. Yeah. And it had, like, that, like, really light little, like, piano music going in the background. Like, look at how amazing and smart he is. Yeah. I and really it was just, that scene. Really? I thought that was a nice, wholesome scene. It just felt so pandering to me. Yes, pandering, exactly. To me, it really felt like they were like, okay, yeah, we're using this kid, but look at we respect him because we're showing that he's also really smart. Well, and as soon as they did that, even before that, I was like, this kid's going to be the key to the whole fucking thing. Yeah. Like, he's going to be the only reason everyone survives. He's going to be the best. Yeah. And especially that whole, the whole plot device of, that's the next line of human evolution. Mm-hmm. Like, what the uh, fuck is that? <laughs> I thought that just, was bullshit. Yeah, that's just so, that's just so awful. And then, like, the guy with the Tourette's, and, like, the scene with Olivia Munn yelling at him because he has Tourette's and saying what the fuck is wrong with you over and over as he's like struggling to like communicate and I just it just seems so tone deaf to all of it a little degrading yeah well that's not how Tourette's works yeah I would the way they did it they just made him have an anger issue yeah and then they were like oh that's Tourette's it was it was anger issue with great comedic timing yeah is what it was and not even that great but (laughs) some element of comedic timing Eric Eric Eat your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, he had one tick in the beginning of the movie. Yeah. Where he, like, made some sound on the bus. And like, oh, he can't control it. And then it was all just, let's make him angry, and then I'll swear. Yeah. Like, that. that's just not Tourette's. And then once once they got to the point where they went to the ship, it never happened. Mm-hmm. It just went away. Because mm-hmm. they were like, oh, we can't, we can't make a joke well, out of it. So, no I mean, Tourette's. They did have, like, a small scene where he was like, hey, you're back. And he's like... Bitch, I never left, or something. Yeah, again, like it just, just swearing. It snapped out. Well, but it, everybody just, else swears in the fucking movie. The fucking. No, but, like, I, I, I think she was. I think what I'm she's like trying to say is that saying that. So when he was killing people, his Tourette's went away. Yeah, and that's what like, that line was meant to being say. Being in a oh. high stress environment like that, like like took it, him out of it. So yeah. now he's back to a normal self, so he's fine. Okay. Which, if that's what they were going for, I think that's also really fucking stupid. But. <laughs> <laughs> But that does explain why during the fight and stuff he wasn't saying stuff. Yeah. Um, you know what? Well, positive because we've been just attacking this. Yeah. I did appreciate that the kids dressed like normal kids. Okay. Yeah. I agree. Like everyone just dressed like normal people in this movie. Yeah. I feel like that's never happened. I've never been like, yeah, that's just how people dress. It's, it's, <laughs> I'm usually kind of like, oh, this is movies now. I'm like, oh, so this is how kids dress now. <laughs> oh, so this is how 30 year olds dress now. Okay. <laughs> but I was like, yeah, I wore that to middle school. Yeah. Or close to that. Yeah. Can, can we talk about the dip- disappearance of the mom? Yeah. Was... After that one scene, it's just. And how just all of a sudden there was, like, just agents at her house? Yeah. Why didn't they take her phone? Why did they let her answer her phone and just be like, oh, yeah, okay, we'll wait for you to finish. We'll Trying wait. to trace or something? But then she, like, was obviously fucking with it. She was obviously, like, going to do something so that they wouldn't be able to to, to get what they wanted out of that yeah. out of that phone. And yeah, you're right. Like, what what happened to her after Mega Predator? She probably fucking died. She just disappeared. Mega Predator fucking killed her. Yeah. Like, she just had no... But no, because at the end, he was like, yeah, I'll tell your mom. Also... Yeah. I was just joking. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so is there any, like, scenes in particular that you guys wanted to talk about? I had a couple um, I like specific it. moments. How about that scene where she's in the decontamination shower, mm-hmm. naked? And he doesn't do and anything doesn't to her? And he doesn't do shit to her? It was. It felt like they tried to explain that a little bit when she was talking. She was telling like the main character about it. Um, that was when she was running, right? Yeah, she said something like, "Oh, I was naked in the shower and he didn't attack me," and the dude was like, "Okay," and then it never came up again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so I, I, I'm assuming they're taking that angle of either since he is the hunter, he doesn't want to kill something that's not game, that's defenseless. Or that, too, since he was trying to help humanity, he didn't want to kill people he didn't have to. But that's just not true. Yeah. yeah. So I, I'm just trying to think of possibilities. That's, that's like every Predator movie. Yeah. He picks 
some female yeah. and befriends it. Well, you mean this and AVP. <laughs> <laughs> and AVP too. <laughs> that one was fucking terrible. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I, I guess one of the scenes I really had... There's two main scenes I had problems with. Um, the first one was the Halloween scene when he had the mask. Oh my and god. And then he blew up that house and then was totally fine with killing that dude mm-hmm. and anyone else who was in that house. Yeah. And, and also... Wasn't again, bothered by the loud Yeah, noise. I was also fucking just about ex- to say that. The house exploding. And it like, was all like, bleh, to like yeah. the bullies <laughs> holding up the mask. Um, I felt that was just really weird and, and if, to me it felt like they really wanted him to kill the bullies but they couldn't show killing children on a movie. So they had another random old man throw something at a child. That wasn't even an old man. That that, was that was or like, like an adult. Like an yes. adult. An adult. Throw something at a child so that they could kill him without feeling bad. Mm-hmm. And it just felt so forced and weird and not really okay. Um, and I also hated that with the mask. Like, oh, if it just gets hit, it'll shoot. Like, what fucking sense does that make? What Isn't if you that... bump it when you're putting it on? Oh, okay. I have like one weird thing. Did anybody notice that that the the black dude who was that like the villain, I guess, yeah, just got shot by his own fucking thing for yeah. like no reason yeah. for one second, and they never touched it. And again? it looked like it blew his head away. Yeah, and then it was just like fine. I yeah, I when sorry you probably didn't even see it <laughs> when that happened. I thought he shot Olivia Munn. I so thought he I. shot yeah because they showed her and then he shot and then it was just like head exploding. Yeah. And I was like, did he just fucking kill Olivia Munn? Yeah. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. And then the, the Predator's right there, and they're uh, launching their ambush, and he's not shooting his thing. Yeah. And I'm like, what, what the fuck is going that, on? Well, that's probably the one thing that could hurt it, because it's a Predator weapon. Yeah. And he was shooting it willy-nilly before. Yeah. Just spraying up into the trees, not giving a shit. Now yeah. he can actually see it, actually engage it, and he's just... Pull, draws his pistol. <laughs> 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 Was there something you wanted to add? I didn't realize he had died. I just thought he disappeared like everyone else. <laughs> it was so fast. It I, was. Like, I, I didn't even catch what happened, really. I also thought... But isn't that a good point in the movie? That you just you just said, I thought he just disappeared like everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> like, how many loose ends, random characters that come and go throughout this movie. It just, the random, it's so fucking random. Yeah. Like, no distances are consistent. People are just appearing and disappearing. Like, <laughs> and and I especially with that the black villain character, I feel like he suddenly got way more evil once they got to the ship. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I, f- I thought it would have been a lot more interesting if he really hadn't been a bad guy. He was just trying to do his job. Yeah. And he was just like, hey, like this is an alien. Like we have to handle this shit right. Mm-hmm. But instead, he just turned into a fucking psychopath out of nowhere. Once he was just like, oh, I'm taking your kid. And then he was just fucking a terrible person. Mm-hmm. Until they didn't need him to be a terrible person anymore. He, he usually tends to play like more evil characters, though. I guess, but there's, there's a way to do evil that's not so fucking He, he was in Supernatural for a few seasons, and he played that role really well. Yeah. And I was really disappointed with his acting in this one. Um, so I also just remembered another scene that I thought was fucking awful. So now I'm up to three. So the second one now is... Um, when, when the kid was messing with the mask, and the mask just went into, like, exposition mode, where it was playing a video of how the Predator was made, uh-huh. it's like, why would you ever need that as a Predator? Like, why would you ever be like, oh, I just want to watch myself get injected with some shit? Uh-huh. Like, what, what fucking sense does that make? Well, I guess that could... It's a, it's a stretch, like, incorporate into why he's trying to help humanity... But that, that, that just doesn't explain why the mask would show it. Oh, okay. I mean, that was my main issue with it, was just why... Like, why would that be a built-in function for an alien race that's built entirely on hunting? Motivation. His motivation for betraying his kind. <laughs> How about that? I just, I just want to see the Predator that sat down at his Predator laptop and edited together that cinematic footage of how they were made. <laughs> it was like, this is fucking perfect. Put this in all the helmets. I like, I like a Predator office. <laughs> He's got predator, his... did you get me those, those files? Did you get that clip made? Picking up everything with his fucking knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> Typing on his keyboard like this. Uh, 
I thought about that was how it's so hard for him to pick up everything. I was like, it's a good thing all their keyboards are just floating and they just make them <laughs> <and slap. laughs> they just, <laughs> they just do like jazzy hands in the air and operate their technology. Um, th- so then the third scene that I had. Uh, fourth scene, I think. No, this is the third. Because it was the Halloween blowing up the house mask and now this one that I wanted oh. to talk about was um, when they crashed the Super Predator ship and then killed it that whole fucking sequence was nonsense to me yes. like there was there was no establishment of the geography or where anybody or anything was that's what I was talking about yeah like it was just oh now there's a cliff now there's another cliff and now they're he's hitting the predator off that and now she's up here and she's invisible and she's coming down like just it was all just quick cuts of just absolute noise for me yes. um but the whole movie was that yeah <laughs> It's just that one was particularly bad to me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I agree, but that's... Right away from the beginning, he's trying to run away from the crashing uh, the crashing spaceship. Yeah. And all of a sudden, he's rolling down a hill. Yeah. He's, like, running. He d- jumps and dodges it, and now he's rolling down a hill. And yeah. now he's running, and now he's rolling down the hill, and now he's <laughs> done. Now he's knocked out. <laughs> like, it's just... Yeah, it was so random, especially that scene... That's exactly what it really put it all together for me. Where she's like, at first she's way over there watching it crash. Yeah. Like, I mean that's like twenty kilometers away. Yeah. That's that take hours to get there. I mean, she would have had to have kept up with a flying spaceship. <laughs> yeah. To reasonably get there in time. Yes. And when did she get the invisibility thing and know how to use it? I yeah, because I didn't know. understand that. Either. They showed him drop it, but they didn't show anyone pick it up. Yeah. At all. And he never explained it to anybody. Like he gave it to and his he son. Didn't even know how to yeah. yeah. And he almost never used it. I felt. Well, yeah, because he had to poop it out. Because he yeah. ate it in the Mexico bar. It. Oh, that's how he kept it. Yeah, yeah. he ate it because he put it in the cup and then drank it. And then that's when he was like, "Oh!" And then they did the poop joke where he came out and he was brushing it off. And I did it out in the RV. I didn't even put that together. Right, well, maybe you're making, the problem. With this I just movie. thought they were making a bad <laughs> shit joke. It was both. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I guess the other thing, maybe the last thing I want to talk about is uh, the killing off of all the uh, <sighs> the loonies. Mm-hmm. That, that was weird. Every single death felt super cheap and garbage to me. Well, I was super. I was getting really excited because like everyone had survived. Yeah. Up until and then I was like, oh shit, they blew off Theon's fucking arm. Yeah. And it's like, here it goes. Oh, well, I, it's all downhill from I here. Loved, I loved when the Predator had, uh, I don't remember any other name, Nettle or whatever, the, the Bible Banner guy. Yeah. Nettles. He was holding him. And the dude's response was just, I'll just shoot the Predator. He'll drop him. Yeah. <laughs> like, that'll make sense. But see, there it is again. When does the bullets hurt him and when doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, right. That time it flew him back. Yeah. He was so miscombobulated. He dropped the body. Everything went flying and he went flying back from just yep. a tiny little five five six. That doesn't even stop a person. <laughs> a normal person running will not stop when that hits you. They talk about that all the time in Ramadi. They had to switch their rounds because that was too small. It would, <laughs> they would shoot people three or four times with that and they wouldn't pause. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, and, and, like, just, and I loved his little kick up <laughs> to like grab yeah. the gun. Maybe that's what did it. The predator was like, holy shit, that was cool. And then he just got <laughs> shot. Um... <laughs> But yeah, so they, they blew off Alfie Allen's arm, and then how That's he died insane. wasn't Alfie completely Allen. clear, because that whole fucking sequence was so dark, you couldn't see what the fuck was happening. And he shot then, the flare, Aaron. He warned yeah, me but how he died. the was coming. <laughs> I was going to ask the same thing. And then you have the two guys that shot each other after being impaled and having their stomach slit open, which was completely corny, and I don't think worked fucking at all. horrible. Um... <laughs> what would have been kind of funny is if they had like mistimed their shots. Oh, <laughs> so God. one shot the one dude, but then the other guy was still alive, or like they missed. <laughs> hey, that's what I was thinking. I was like, that's so hard to time. Right? You're not gonna hear it. Yeah. You're not, like, <laughs> You're not gonna hear it. <laughs> you can't just be like, all right, okay. Oh, I heard it. I'm gonna shoot now. Like, right? <laughs> Both of you are like seconds from death. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then Matt. I think the one that made me the maddest was the Bible Banner guy. Where he's on top of the ship with the force field closing. This guy has never been played as stupid. But his only reaction is to shoot the force field. 
and then stand there said his legs got chopped off. Watch after watching two other one guy slide underneath another guy jump on it. Yeah, to just stand there and shoot in a circle at a fucking force field. Yep. How is it big enough to fit people under? They've always been like that. They have? Yeah, that's just a thing in Predator movies. That's just how they work. That's weird. Yeah. Also, they got on that ship knowing that Predator technology just shoots whatever it's being shot from. Yeah. And it's like, oh, just shoot anywhere on the ship, even though it's not going to fucking matter. <laughs> like, why wasn't there a fucking cannon on there and just went, whoop, whoop, and just fucking killed him? Yeah. Oh, yeah, especially when that worked against the jet. Yeah. Uh, and then they also, and so then the last guy, uh, Nebraska, was that his name? Jumped into the engine. Yeah. That for some reason wasn't force field covered. That's a good point. To blow it up. That. And that also... And it wasn't a jet engine before, but in there it was a jet engine. Yeah. So that was just nonsense. And then I love I love how they have that stupid fucking scene at the end with the bandana. Where they're like, oh, I watched Band of Brothers. I know how to I know how to send out soldiers in a tear-jerking scene. Is where that he's an like, actual thing from Band of Brothers? Yeah. Because I watched that. Where he's, like, where he's like, this is the item for this person that we've never seen before. This is the item for this person that we've never seen before. <laughs> and it's like, who... Where did any of that shit come from? Like, there yeah. was not a single shot of that hula hoop doll. No. Or, or the hula, whatever, luau dancer or whatever. Yeah. Like, just, it was all just so stupid. Like, none of it was established. None of it had any purpose up to that point. And it was, like, just trying to get that bit of emotion that it did not earn whatsoever. Can I, can I just ask, how many cigarettes do you think Nebraska smoked that entire movie? Apparently the whole pack, because it was empty. It was not empty. Wasn't it? No. It was like there is, there was a few left. Like three or four. He died too soon, though. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, every scene we saw him in, he was having at least two or three smokes. It was like we were watching an episode of Mad Men. Jesus. <laughs> well, how else would you understand that the cigarettes go with the smoking guy? <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing they established, damn it. <laughs> so, Soraya, you've kind of agreed with everything we've been saying. Yeah, and you said you you really well, liked it. This is why I want to call it kind of like a blockbuster, but hearing the definition, it's not a blockbuster. But it's like I consider it. It's a movie that I could see people just going to watch and enjoy, kind of like a Mission Impossible movie, where they want the or Transformers. They want the the action yeah. scenes, like the aliens. Like, they don't want to think, they don't want to care where everyone yeah. is, they just want to see something Action. they remember. And yeah. like, gore, and yeah. just like, you know, the possibility of alien life, what it could do. Like the dude in the row behind us, that every time someone died, went, oh my god! Oh, <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> uh, so I guess while you bring up the action, what did everyone think about the action? This shit. I liked some of them. I liked, I liked, I liked some of it. I mean, I didn't... I don't think there was enough of it that I was impressed. I agree. There wasn't there wasn't a lot of action. Okay. And I feel like with a Predator movie there should be a shit ton more action. Well and I thought I, I thought too much of the action was just people pointlessly shooting at something off screen. Yeah. With no effect at all. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the action ideas that I liked were usually kind of cheaply done, where it was either really small on the screen or it like cut away, or it was super dark, like um, like when Super Predator's in the house and he like stabs up through the floor to get yeah. the dude. Like that was awesome. I thought that was really cool. But it's so small, and then it like cuts away, so that like you can't completely see it and it's not in focus. Yeah. And it was a lot of stuff like that where it was the implied action was better than the actual action, um, which is just super lazy to me. I like the scene where they were in the school, and it makes it look like he's coming down the stairs. Well, I guess, never mind, because now that just doesn't make sense. With his he was all of a sudden behind him? Yeah! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> but I still, I still liked it when he's holding up the dude, and then for some reason they have like a grapple hook or something, and it pulls him out. Yeah. I like that scene. Okay. And how he landed outside. So, right now... Um, I guess, or is there anything else that anybody wants to say about it? I was going to say, they fell into the same trap as always. The main characters just don't get killed. 
can't be killed. Yeah. So he's walking around one hitting everyone else. Yeah. But for whatever reason, he wants to choke the main character to death. Yeah. yeah. He <laughs> didn't choke anyone else. He just just fucked them up. Just cut half their <laughs> head off. Yeah. You know, or like. And then he also did the whole, I'm going to throw you thing. Why yeah. do they always throw? No. <laughs> You're never taught to just throw somebody. Hey, but that's if, how they get up and get another chance. Like they always do in the movie. But if, if he's over there, he's not here hurting me. Because <laughs> he's out of the picture now. <laughs> and then it was also so obvious, the ropes pulling people. Oh, God, like yeah. They'd get thrown and they'd just get up and be at the same height all the way over. <laughs> yeah. Um... I, I also thought it was stupid. This is like a real small nitpick. But when he killed uh, the one squad mate at the beginning and he dropped him out of the tree hanging upside down, which is like the iconic predator thing to do. Mm-hmm. Um, but he just had like cuts on him. And the iconic thing is that they skin him. Yeah. They have like no skin on him whatsoever. Yeah. And I just thought that that was so weird. Like, why would you. He was like partially skinned on his face. But it was like he just got cut up. Like, I like, just. It, like, I, that was done to kill him. It yeah. wasn't like a ceremony. Yeah. Like, I just, I don't get why they would change that one small thing. I haven't seen the old Predator, so I don't know what, like, their MO is. We also played that game, Predator Concrete Jungle. (laughs) I thought of that. We could do it to people. But no, I I did see the old Predator with that guy that whispered the whole movie. Yeah. (laughs) He was like a drug guy, and they all thought it was drug stuff, and they'd go in the room, and there's all the bodies hanging, like, what the fuck? Yeah. That was before the cartels, though. Yeah. Anyways, um, any closing thoughts? I got three small things. Okay. Fuck this movie for setting up a sequel. Yeah. Fuck this movie for saying, get to the chopper. (laughs) And no one would fucking care about this movie if it wasn't Predator. Yeah. It didn't have to be. It could have been just some strong alien. Yeah. If if it didn't have Predator, it would have nothing going on. No one would care. Yeah, it it didn't feel like a Predator movie to me at all. Especially when typically Predator movies have... Sort of like a battle of wits almost going on. You know, like the first one especially. You have the Predator killing everybody, but then Arnold Schwarzenegger figuring out how to beat the Predator. Where he's like setting traps in the jungle and he covers himself in mud so he's invisible to the thermovision. Mm-hmm. And like actual creative sort of battles between those two ability sets. Yeah. And in this one, it was there was none of that. Like none of, none of the victories felt earned or justified. At all. Like, it was just, we're going to keep doing what we've been doing, and eventually it's going to work. Yeah, and the one booby trap they set is, for whatever reason, he's on the ground. Yeah. And every other time he's been up in the trees like a smart predator. Yeah. Why would he be walking through the one opening? And then he was, like, burning for a while, and then just wasn't anymore. Yeah. (laughs) He just stopped. And that brings the sunglasses scene. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking sunglasses. You know what? I have another scene. Yeah. Where he's he's about to kill the predator and he's like, "What are you?" Oh, that was so <laughs> stupid. Shut up. Oh my god, I felt like it was trying to do um, like the cool John Wick one thing, you know, where he's about to kill Alfie Allen and he's laying there and he's like begging for his life and he's mid sentence and John Wick just kills him and walks away. And I felt like they were trying to do that, but then they felt the need to like set it up, which completely fucking ruins the point of the joke. Yeah. That's like setting yourself up for a knock-knock joke. Where, like, you're answering it yourself. <laughs> yeah. And it's just stupid. It's like, you're not being clever. Um, yeah, so I guess, I guess in closing, uh, right now, this is sitting at a 6.2 on IMDb, a 53 on Metacritic, and a 34 on Rotten Tomatoes. I feel like all of those are considerably too high. <laughs> yeah. Although the gore scenes were pretty... The what ones? Gore. Yeah. It made me cringe. It did a couple times for me too. It was almost um, it was almost like Mortal Kombat levels for some of them. Oh yeah. I would say not almost. It was at like Key when he gets his gut split out. Like it's it showed it all. Like it skin getting torn, his gut spilling out. Like that was intense. Yeah. Yeah. Or at the beginning when he like shoots the like the rope thing and it like cuts the dude in half yeah. and you see yeah. his intestines hanging out. Yeah. That was pretty, pretty wild. What about, what about that Home Alone ass shit though, where he shot the the rope and then the people in the jeep drove into oh, it God. and it decapitated them. 
Yeah, we don't have jeeps like that. <laughs> <laughs> they looked like a World War II jeep. That's what I thought. When I, saw that. <laughs> I was like, oh, a bunch of Nazis coming from Schindler's List right? to come take care of Predator. <laughs> <laughs> has anything else just don't go see it <laughs> don't support it if you go see it they're just gonna make more <laughs> they set it up they clearly want to and I guess I guess maybe we should say something about the disappointment at the end yeah where they're opening up uh, what was brought by the predator to save humanity from the predators and instead of being a xenomorph which is the clearest fucking best idea it could be it's a Power Ranger Predator suit. <laughs> that fits humans. Yeah, that just like digitally places itself on humans. So I guess if we do get a sequel, it's going to be more Super -er -er Predator. It's going to be like Super Saiyan God Predator versus Super <laughs> Saiyan Predator. Yes. <laughs> it's just. Maybe that's the only thing I could hope for is if it just keeps getting worse and worse <laughs> where we have like 10 tiers of new more powerful predators that are just fucking stupid and, and they're just fighting each other they're all just gonna die by the hands of generic white man number three <laughs> and people with autism <laughs> <laughs> that's the next step in the evolutionary chain <laughs> um yeah yeah so I, i'd say that's it just don't go see it it's not worth it <laughs>